Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Blueprints video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss variables in Blueprint. What is a variable? Variable is a named memory location whose value can change during runtime. That means while playing the game, we can change the value of the variable guys. And variable is a named memory location in the RAM. Now why do we create variables? We create variables to store and reuse data, to store and reuse data. To keep track of the status of any actor, we create variables. For example, if I need to keep track of player score, I create a variable called player score. If I need to keep track of player health, then I create a variable called player health. If I need to store the gravity, then I create a variable called world gravity. If I need to store player name then I create a variable called player name if I need to keep track of whether game is over or not I create a variable called is game over and each variable will be of different type guys for example player score is considered as an integer type of data because player score will be initially 0 then it becomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 so each number is a whole number. So whole numbers are considered as an integer type of data. So player score is considered as integer. Player health is also considered as integer type of data. Because player health will be initially 100 then it becomes 90, 80, 70, 60. So each one is a whole number, right? Whereas world gravity is considered as a float type of data. Because it has decimal point. A number with decimal point is considered as float player name is of type string because sequence of characters considered as string type of data is game over is considered as boolean type of data because false and true are considered as boolean values true and false okay now we understood what is a variable variable is a memory location whose value can change at runtime we create variables to store and reuse or keep track of status of any actor we create variables right let's understand how do we create variables to create variables uh, what i do here i am going to create one blueprint i right click here say blueprint class and parent class i select actor and call this bp underscore player i hit enter and then i double click to open it bp underscore player is open i go to add component and add a cube let's consider cube is our player okay and we want to keep track of player score player health etc to keep track of player score of course i need to create a variable called player score where do we create a variable we go to my blueprint window go to variable section click on the plus sign if i click on the plus sign we can create a variable here i am going to give the name i say player score hit enter as I told, player score is an integer type of data. We have to set here variable type. Variable type I set integer. Like that, we create a variable, guys. I click on the plus sign. I say player h e a l t h player health. It is also integer. Click on the plus sign. I say here player name. I hit enter. Player name is a string type of data, right? So I select here string sequence of characters considered as string. I click on the plus sign, I say here world gravity, I hit enter, world gravity, it is a minus 9.8, so I have to change the data type here to float, I click on the plus sign, I say here is game over, I hit enter, is game over either true or false, so variable type which change to boolean guys. So that is how we create variables. Now we understood what is variable, how do we create variable. Next we understand how do we initialize variable. To initialize the variable, we have to compile the blueprint guys. Okay, by compiling the blueprint, we can set the initial value or the default value guys. If I click on, let me set the player score and say compile. Once we compile, we can say player score initial value 0. Player health, I can set the initial value to 100. I say player name and set the initial value here to Manjunath. 
and then I say world gravity set the initial value see it's, it has decimal point minus 9.8 hit enter and is game over untick means false tick means true guys so I set it to false okay so that is how you set the initial value to each variable guys you have to compile and uh, select the variable go to details panel and set the initial value now we understood what is variable how do we create variable how to set the initial value now we understand how to get the variable value how do we get the value from the variable so i go to event graph delete these nodes on event begin play we will display the values inside variables to get the value in a variable we need to take help of the get node guys we need to take help of get node get node is used to get current value of the variable get node is used to get current value of the variable so these capsule shape nodes are called get nodes or getter nodes guys they allow us to get the current value of the variable so player name allows us to get the current value of player name player health allows us to get the current value of player health like that so how do we create these get nodes is drag the variable and say get so that creates the getter node understanding you can just drag the variable and say get or you can hold down the control key and drag the variable that creates the getter node or get node for that variable hold down control and drag hold down control and drag so these are getter nodes understanding or get nodes i want to display the current value of player score right the current value of player score is zero so how do we display we take help of the print string node i say here print string and connect the execution pins on event begin play i want to display player score so when i connect here we get the conversion node this conversion node converts the integer value which is available on the left side to a string which is asking here right side we need string so it converts integer to string compile and save if i go to level 1 and go to output log window before going to output log window i am going to create an instance of bp underscore player here i create one instance come to output log window and play you see we got the value zero right that is how we get the current value so i delete this let's display the current value of player health so i connect the execution connect the data pins compile come here and play see we got 100 100 is the current value of player health like that we can display the current value of any variable so player name we don't need the conversion here because it is a string it is also a string compile come here and play you see we got manjunath so that is how we can get the current value of any variable with the help of the getter node guys and how do we create getter node hold down the control and drag the variable you get the getter node guys fine let's hold down alt and click on the wire to delete the wire the connection you can delete guys i'm going to remove these variables from here i keep only player score let's display the player score compile and save i come here and play we got the player score zero displayed we know that variable is a named memory location whose value can be changed we can change the value in a variable at runtime how do we change the value for that we need to take help of the set node guys set node used to set new value to a variable as well as get that value set node is used to set new value to a variable you can create a set node by holding alt and dragging the variable okay or you can drag the variable and say set so that creates a set node or you can simply hold down the alt and drag the variable guys that creates a set node set node allows you to set the new value so i'm going to set it, i'm going to set the new value to the player score that is 10 and then i want to display this new value so i take the player score here okay hold down the control and drag get player score and print string i say here print string connect connect this so what happens here you need to understand guys what happens when we when we run the code when we when we run the code 
the player score variable is created in the memory for example i say here ms paint in the memory it creates one memory location to that memory location it gives the name player score and it sets the initial value what is the initial value of player score zero right so it puts zero inside this memory and after that what happens event begin play player score is displayed player score is zero so zero is displayed after that what happens they are telling the new value of player score should be 10 so it goes to player score memory it removes this zero from here and puts the new value 10 inside and then we are we are displaying the current value of player score here again we are getting the current value of player score what is the current value of player score now 10 so 10 is displayed so we'll get 0 and then 10 if i say compile save come here and play you see we got 0 first and then 10 so that is the variable guys variable is a named memory location it is a named memory location whose value can change during the runtime while playing the game I hope it's clear guys now we understood what is variable how do we create variable how do we initialize variable how do we get variable how do we set variable we understand variable properties now we understand variable properties or variable parameters guys let's delete these things from here okay if you select a variable in the details panel you can see all its parameters here we can change the name of the variable so if you want to change the name of the variable from player score to let's say p score you can simply say here p score hit enter so you see variable name is changed to p score if you want to change it back to player score you say here player score and hit enter see it is changed so you can change the name of the variable here or here if you just click and you can change the name of the variable guys okay player score you can change the variable type here as well as here you can change the variable type if you want to change player score from integer to float you can change guys like this float or integer okay next you can give a description to the variable like i say here keep track of player score now what is the use of this description okay if i say instance editable if i enable this automatically the variable becomes public guys when i enable see the i is open here i is open means this variable is public it will be available in the level editor in the details panel on the instance guys so what is the meaning of instance ed editable whether this variable is publicly editable on instances of this blueprint whether this variable is publicly editable on instances of this blueprint already we have created one instance right so if i say compile and save come to the level one here is the instance and if you go to the details panel player score is available here why this player score is available here because we have told instance editable and if i remove this and compile and save go back to the level one there will be no player score available here on this instance to edit so if i say instance editable and compile and save it becomes public it will be available here in the details panel to modify we can change the player score initially to something else and description will get display when we move the mouse cursor on the player score see it is showing keep track of player score from where that keep track of player score is coming it is coming from this description what we have entered guys next we have blueprint read only blueprint read only means it makes the variable only readable not editable so let me remove this instance editable okay compile and save if i drag this player score we have the facility to get the player score as well as set the player score whereas if i make it read only okay compile and if i drag the player score now we can only get the player score we cannot set new value to the player score we can only get the player score guys because it is read only now if you remove this and drag you have the option to get as well as set guys so that is what blueprint read only it just makes the variable constant it makes it it converts the variable into a constant constant means a memory location whose value never change during the runtime guys understanding and next we have expose on spawn 
so first i make this instance editable so that it is publicly available okay and then expose on spawn what is the meaning of this should this variable be exposed as a pin should this variable be exposed as a pin when spawning this blueprint so if you are trying to create an instance of this blueprint at runtime okay you 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 take help of spawn actor from class node you take help of spawn actor from class node to create a new instance of the blueprint at runtime so in that node whether this variable should be created as a pin whether this variable should be shown as a pin that is what this expose on spawn does that means let's compile and save if i open the level blueprint and here if i right click and say spawn spawn actor from class here we can select the class bp underscore player first let's go to bp underscore player and make expose on spawn enable compile and save and here if i select bp underscore player you see here the player score is available when we create the instance of bp underscore player we can set the initial value here we can set the initial value to the player score understanding we can set the initial value to this variable guys if i say if i come back and remove this expose on spawn compile and save and come back to the level okay let's compile and save okay this player score will not be available now if i right click and say spawn spawn actor from class and select bp underscore player now you see the variable player score is not exposed here it is not shown as a pin because we have untick this expose on spawn and the next parameter we have is a private we can decide whether this variable is a private variable or a protected variable if you make the variable private that means it can be accessible only in this blueprint you cannot access this variable somewhere else understanding so whether this variable if it is protected then you can access this variable in its derived classes and modify guys we'll discuss about the access levels everything in detail step by step when we actually need to discuss guys what you need to take from this session is you know to understand what is variable variable is a named memory location whose value can change during the execution of a program and how do you create variables how do we set the initial value to variable how do we get the current value of a variable and how do we set new value to a variable how do we display or modify and understand few properties or a few parameters of variables like how to change the variable name how to change the variable type how to set the description what is the meaning of instance editable what is the meaning of blueprint read only what is the meaning of expose on spawn what is private or protected guys for this video tutorial this much is enough guys if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep designing keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial